Hi, my name is Paul and you're watching a video by 3dprintingstore.co.za In this video we will go through the assembly of the all metal art end. What you'll need for this is the all metal art end that looks like this. You'll need a thermistor which is connected to a cable so you can either buy the thermistor which is already connected to the cable or you can buy the, the thermistor and connect it to the cable yourself. If you connect the cable what we usually do is we insulate the front of the leads which is exposed. We insulate them with with Kapton tape because the Kapton tape is a high temperature tape it can withstand the temperature and then it also serves as uh, electrical insulation. Then you also need a 40 watt heater cartridge. This one is a 12 volt 40 watt heater cartridge and then some Kapton tape. We like to use the, the 5 millimeter Kapton tape for this for the all metal art end. Firstly what you'll need to do is make sure that everything on the all metal art end is tightened. So the all metal art tent consists of a nozzle, a nozzle. Looks like this. And then also the the heater block which looks like this. So firstly what we'll do is we'll insert the nozzle. And torque it a little bit. Then we'll assemble it to the rest of the hot end. So this tube on the inside it presses against the the nozzle. If you hand tighten it, it should be should be fine. If you tighten it too much, it the the uh, thin section of the tube might might break there. And then when you are done with that you can tighten the locking screw which locks the the nozzle in place. Now we will insert the heater cartridge and the thermistor into the, the hot end. So we take the heater cartridge, we insert it into the hole provided from the same side as the brass screw and then we tighten it, tighten the, the grub screw at the bottom. You are welcome to add some thermal paste to the heater cartridge and the uh, thermistor. This will only increase the thermal conductivity between the different components. Uh, it's not required for normal operation, but if you have some available, uh, you can add it. So now we take the thermistor, we insert it in the, into the hole provided. You'll see that the hole is quite quite deep and then we will bend the wires upwards so that it looks like that and then we take our, our cap on tape and we turn it around we fasten everything together to keep it in place by winding the cap on tape around the, the heater block uh, you don't have to use the 5 millimeter you can use a different size as well but we like to use the the 5 millimeter cap on tape for this when you are done with that, the hot end should look like this with the cap on tape wound a few times around the, the heater block to keep everything in place. We like to, to cable tie these, these wires together. Maybe after you've inserted it into your printer you can cable tie these wires along with the, the wires of the stepper motor that runs the extruder. Um, tie everything together as well as the the wire for the for the fan. So the wire of the fan you need to to extend the, the these two wires. They are connected to the 12 volt supply that goes to your ramps board and make sure that the black wire goes to the ground and the red wire goes to the positive. Uh, this is a, a 12 volt fan so you need to connect the 12 volt to, to this fan. So at the end when 
you switch on your power supply when the printer has power then this fan is running so this fan is running all the time when your when your printer is is on then two final comments is if you want to remove the the fan from the the hot end um, do not pull it in this in this direction because it might snap there or there so how you take it off is you usually you push it upwards you can also push it downwards because there's some ribs on the inside that that locks into the the heat sink so if you press it upwards and it goes over the those ribs you can remove it like that and then the the other tip is when you use the hot tent for the first time uh, take the filament and dip it into uh, olive oil or high quality cooking oil before you put it into the to the the hot tent the oil lines the inside of the of the the metal of the hot end on the inside um, to reduce the the friction on the inside with with ABS it's usually not a problem but sometimes with with PLA it's required that uh, the PLA does not stick to the the hot end on the inside when it is when it is melting all right now your hot end is ready to install it into your printer